Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new ultra long range analog video transmitter from AKK. They keep bringing out these really high powered video transmitters. Uh, this one is the TX8000AC. As you might guess, 8000 means it's 8 watts maximum power and AC means all channels. So it has, uh, it can broadcast on 96 different channels. It's a compact size, uh, very similar to the TX5000 that I reviewed a little while ago. A nice sized little video transmitter with uh, decent cooling and uh, smart audio. Now, as I always say, it's always better to get better antennas, directional antennas, rather than just bumping up the power because you'll introduce other, other problems. And the power levels may not be legal in your area, so you really do have to uh, be sure that you're not stepping on other transmissions. But if you want a super high powered and uh, compact size video transmitter, then this may be the one. Let's have a closer look. Right, let's open the box. There is our little video transmitter. It is very, very similar to the, the little uh, 5000, the 5 watt version. With a few little changes, it has a, a, a single LED readout instead of the LEDs on the side. Uh, and a little push button on here for changing band, channel and power. They've changed the antenna connector to straight SMA rather than the uh, MMCX. Really decent cooling fins and a fan, uh, which is kind of noisy, which is all very necessary though. If we look on the connections we have, Power, ground, smart audio, video, ground, and five volts out for your uh, for your camera. All right, what else do we get in the box? Connection cable here that has a, an inductor in line for the power to uh, absorb a bit of noise because these things can be quite noisy. Uh, so we have power, ground, smart audio video and five volts on ground for your camera and we have the little manual here which shows us all the 96 channels that are available and tells us how to change channel band and power for the channel it's a short press to go, step through the eight channels for the band it's a two second press then you can step through all the uh, different bands then for power, it is a three second push, uh, and then you can step through the five different power levels. Power levels, 25 or pit mode, one watt, three watt, five watt, and eight watts. The video transmitter has a slow power on, three second slow power on, so that it doesn't go full power straight away. And once again, there's rem reminders that it does get very hot, so don't burn your fingers, and always plug the antenna in before you power up the video transmitter. And there's the specs there, but let's go over to the website and have a look at what it says there. And then I'm going to put it on my mini talon and take it for a fly. Here we are at the AKK website, and this is interesting. They have this announcement pop up that says that from September the 1st, 2024, AKK have stopped selling VTXs to all nations and their allies that are at war. There was a lot of speculation that these video transmitters were developed to put on drones um, to be used in the war. Uh, so they're actually stating here that they're no longer selling it for that purpose. So that's interesting. Have a read of it if you want to, to see what they're talking about. But here's the TX8000AC, 8 watts, 4.9 to 6 gigahertz, ultra wide band, 96 channels, way more than I can use with my goggles. It's the world's first small form factor 8 watt video transmitter, which is what they said about the eight, uh, the 5 watt video transmitter. Uh, and that is probably true as well. Power range from uh, 25 milliwatt pit mode, one, 1 watt, 3 watt, 5 watt and 8 watt. Comes with a, a cooling fan and a very good heat sink, which of course you would need if you're going to use it at 8 watts. Input voltage is 14.6 to 28 volts, so you won't be able to just connect it straight to most flight control boards because they won't be able to supply that amount of voltage to a video transmitter unless they have a VBAT pad, and then it probably won't be filtered. So you're going to have to be very aware of uh, 
having a clean build with minimal noise and maybe doing some of your own filtering. Smart audio for setting up power and channel via your flight control board and transmitter. 5 volt output for the camera, maximum half an amp. No microphone, but it does have smart audio. SMA antenna connector. Cable connector is a 6-pin JST. 36 by 36 outer dimensions. Uh, the whole mounting holes are 30.5 by 30.5. 25 grams without the antenna. And uh, here are all the bands. And they don't seem to match up to the bands, uh, the this sort of letter and number listing that I have on my uh, goggles. So I'm not too sure how these work out. What I have to do is just select a band and a channel and search using my goggles to see if it finds it. And they also show a little bit of testing data here if you're interested in that sort of thing. Let's solder it up and mount it on a plane and check it out in the field. I mounted it up on the nose of my Mini Talon. You can see I've mounted it up vertically so that I've got uh, good airflow over the cooling fins and the fan. And we've also got access to the um, LED and the little push button. Uh, I've got a Runcam Phoenix camera on there. The board is uh, Matek H743. Uh, I did hook up the smart audio and it does work, um, but for some reason with this board it doesn't uh, keep the channel when you repower it. Uh, it reverts back to A1 and power of 1. Um, which is not what I want. So I've disconnected the smart audio. I think it's may just be a problem with the um, uh, The Matek H743 board. I'm not too sure about that, but yep yeah, Works perfectly fine without smart audio anyway. I would tend to set and forget anyway I have the 5.8 gigahertz antenna on you do get a choice of a 5 gigahertz or a 5.8 uh, because the range of channels is so wide it goes from 4.9 up to 6 gigahertz so uh, you need a choice of two antennas I don't know if they actually come with it you might have to order them separately anyway it's time to fly okay ready to go um, what I'm concerned about is how much noise it's going to pick up um, I do have a spare capacitor I can plug in if there's too much noise but uh, we'll see how we go anyway It's a windy old day, so it's going to be a rough ride. Uh, so there is some noise. Bit of banding across there. Bit of fine banding and a bit of uh, wider banding. So probably would benefit from some extra filtering. We're on one watt at the moment, that's as high as I'll go. So that's a bit more noise than I'd like at the moment, so um, yeah, I might plug that capacitor in and see how we go. I am uh, powering it from the VBAT pins on the H743 wing board. That is throttle related. So uh, let's try and do something about that. I was getting too much noise in the system with my previous setup, so I'm just going to power the video transmitter and the camera uh, purely from the uh, balance port of the battery. Hopefully for a much cleaner feed. We won't have the uh, on-screen display, but um, at least we'll see how clean the feed is with a cleaner power feed, hopefully.
All right, I've bumped it up to one watt instead of pit mode like the last one was, so let's go for a fly now, see how we go. There we go, that's what we should be seeing, a beautiful clean feed. Of course we don't have on-screen display, but that's okay, we can work that stuff out. lovely yeah that's what it's supposed to be like you've got to have a very clean build to have a clean feed and uh, my setup just wasn't clean at all very good all right well let's just go for a fly and enjoy the clean view from the tx8000 ac from akk uh, and i feel like i could just fly off down the coast i'm on one watt now so uh, uh have got much more range than that. Alright, very good. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.